Do. All right. Am I live? I am live, but I don't know where. It says I'm live. All right. Where am I at? stream. Hey, Carmen, where you got? That is so funny. That is so, I'm going to tell y'all about this new device I'm on, but I don't know how to do it yet. Hold on. Ah, look at that. That's new. Ah, okay. All right, wait a minute. I can't find my back on stream. Give me a second, y'all. I am. Oh, here I am. Here I am. Okay, so, Carmen, okay. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, something over there. Hey guys, so this is, this is weird. This is going to be a little different because for one, I'm on something, um, I'm on something totally different, y'all. I, I, I had tried this new thing, this new little streaming device, and so far, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So y'all gotta tell me if it's having trouble. But if it do work, this is gonna be so cool. You wanna know why? Because it's like a new streaming um thing. And let me make sure you can hear me. It's a new streaming thing and it's like fun. It's real interactive. So I had like a crash course. I don't know, probably like an hour or so ago, guys. So I really don't know it. No, especially with me just coming back off of um just coming back off of vacation. But I'm excited because I told y'all I was going to be taking my content to the next level. I wasn't joking. This is like one of my, this is one of my things. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a couple things. I'm going to let y'all see a couple things. Y'all got to tell me if you like it. Now, like I told you, I don't know it all, all that perfect, but I got a couple things going on. First, I want to go ahead and tell you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you that don't know, this is the Posh Academy's Poshcast. And this is our segment for Talk To Me Tuesday, which it's pretty much exactly what I said. <laughs> I get on here, I share tips with you guys on how to grow your draping business, but y'all talk to me, y'all ask me questions, you um, give tip, you give insight on whatever it is I'm talking about, and y'all see me in my pink, y'all see the girl in her pink, reason being, is because this is Barbie week. So I was supposed to do Barbie week last week, and because I went on that out of the blue vacation to Tulum, Mexico, everything kind of got pushed back a week. So I'm right back on schedule, and this is this is officially Barbie week. So I'm super excited about it because Barbie is all about fun, glam, girl, all the things that I really enjoy. So tonight I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to use trending Barbie strategies to market your draping business, right? At first I kind of was like, I'm a little too late. <laughs> Because everything just was crazy. I was like, Barbie is over. But baby, when y'all started posting y'all, um, when y'all started posting y'all, I didn't even see these comments. When y'all started posting y'all, like the work that y'all was posting in the group this week, I was like, oh, y'all still doing Barbie stuff. So I was like, I'm right on time. Because the fact that not only that you guys are still posting Barbie stuff, I had seen uh, a couple posts that I got tagged in that people were still doing Barbie stuff. So I'm like, that is super, super, super dope. That is super. Oh, Marilyn says she expected her book on Thursday. That is super, super, super dope. So I wanted to come in here and like kind of see who's still doing the Barbie thing and still talk to you guys about it because y'all know I'm, I'm doing a whole lot of Barbie stuff. So not only am I doing a Barbie backdrop, but I'm doing a uh, Barbie behind the scenes. I'm doing a Barbie training for my people that's in the membership tomorrow. So tonight, I'm actually just going to, like I said, tell you guys how you can still jump on this bandwagon because it's not too late. I thought it was, but baby, it's not. So I'm going to tell you guys some ways that you can take 
implement into your business to get visibly seen by the people you want to work with because guess what people are still booking these barbie events and i'm like i, I like them because they over the top right and it's just pink and even though a lot of y'all think pink is my favorite color it's really not <laughs> it's really not the girl's favorite color is white and black right i went with pink because my audience is attracted to pink. And that was one of my, my strategies for my branding. That is what a lot of my ladies are attracted to. So that is how I got into that little feminine movement. But the girl is, I like white and black, baby. I'm trying to tell you. More so ever white, but I'm real clumsy. So I tend to wear a lot of black. So they are my colors. They are my colors. But guys, you have to tell me. Before we kind of get into it and unravel these strategies, I want you to take a moment and tell me exactly who we have in the building. Uh, if you are new here, definitely drop your name in the comments. Tell me where you are viewing from so that we can get better acquainted. I want to know who I'm talking to, like who's watching my content, who is inspired by my content, who need a little more of my content, right? You guys, even though I was... Um, on vacation all last week, I did see an influx of like comments and you guys just really uh, engaging with the content. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And for that, guess what, guys? I got this new little trick. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to give you guys a round of applause. Hold on. I hope it'd be the right one, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. the posh cast lion in the building guys i'm gonna try I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys if you are building the podcast i know a lot of you guys are getting into your youtube channel and you don't really know what to use and all that and you guys know i had a youtube channel for i don't know quite some quite some time but each year i always try to make it better i always try to make it different guys if it wasn't for this man right here mr lion flood who helped me out with this whole lord stream deck system and getting the little things that y'all gonna hear tonight he helped me out because I got it, but I had went on vacation real fast, right? And I didn't, I, he was trying to give me a little quick tutorial and I couldn't grasp it because I'm a, I'm a looker. I got a see, touch, feel I, and I wasn't able to do it because I was great go. And then I came back, guys, I got thrown right back into this mix and I was like, I want to engage my people, but I can't do it. And I was frustrated. I had to go on my YouTube, guys, I mean, on my Facebook, he was like, look, I need some help. And <laughs> this young man reached out and helped me guys I'm trying to tell you and made it so simple and I'm gonna tell y'all this is what I did I do it all the time I know I do but guys it was all in my head I made it a little more difficult than it needed to be it really wasn't that hard and he just went through the motions with me and made sure I was up and running so that by the time I broadcast with you guys tonight I'm able to do all the little tricks and little stuff y'all know I like doing so I'm just trying to tell you, if y'all are not subscribed to this channel yet, you need to be. Because it's about to get a lot more engaging. It's about to get a lot more fun. I just had to figure out a way to do it, baby, because I ain't know how. <laughs> I'm a mover and a shaker, but I'm not a podcaster. And being that the Posh Academy is the only podcast dedicated to draping, I got to do it right, baby. I got to do it right. So, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Deborah, Deborah say celebrating 20. Six months of mentorship. I love you, Deborah. I love you, love you. Hey, Wynette, how you guys doing? Kimberly, I missed you, ladies. <laughs> Tracy, Marvel, say, say woo. So, guys, I got some amazing stuff to tell y'all tonight, right? Now, one thing I'm going to tell y'all, I, I know before we left, I said, we was, and y'all helped me map out this tour for quarter one, right? Y'all really did help me because I was like, I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where to go. But y'all went in that room, y'all went in the group, and y'all chimed in where y'all was located. And I was like, boom, there it is. But then guess what, y'all? On my flight to Tulum or Cancun, I lost my whole MacBook. I didn't lose it. I left it on the computer. <laughs> I mean, I left it on the, uh, on the plane. And it's funny because I think it was Trina. It was somebody. Or maybe it was Karen. It was somebody when I was leaving. I said I was going to work and get some stuff done, like, on the plane. And they were like, no pressure. Leave that bag on computer home. And I'm like, no, because I got some stuff I want to do. Baby, if that one not go, because I was forced to just enjoy myself. <laughs> can we get a, a, a couple of claps in the comments for enjoying herself? Wait a minute. Let me see if I can get this one. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. It's close enough. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> So, guys, I lost a whole MacBook, and that's why I really couldn't get done what I wanted to get done. But 
I got some announcements for you guys. All I want to do is tell, I want tell I want you guys to stay to the end of the broadcast because y'all gonna be so happy. Y'all gonna be proud of your girl. That's all I want to tell you. That's all I want to tell you. Tracy say, please share the platform you are using. So tonight I'm using Ecam. Baby, you see that that uh, Mr. Lion Flynn, Mr. Lion F Flood. I'm trying to tell you that's the person you need to follow. I got his links too. I'm gonna share them with you guys. I'm sharing. I'm on Ecam. Y'all guys know I normally use Streamyard. I'm um I've been on Streamyard. I don't know how long, but you know I was getting a little boring. I ain't gonna lie. I was like I don't I don't want to use this no more. I wanted it to be a little more engaging. And even though I'm new to it, and I got this little thing right here. This little device, y'all. I feel like a real podcast. I'm just trying to tell you. I feel like a real podcast. So we about to have some fun. We about to really have some fun. Take it up a notch. And I just want to tell you, if you ain't subscribed yet, you better. Because this is where we're going to be every Tuesday for the Posh Academy's podcast, Posh Cast. And this is designed to tell, help you take your draping to the next level and build a six-figure business. Just st strictly draping, right? That's all we did. That's all we did. So, guys, without further ado, guess what? I got to do one thing, though. This was something I learned, too. This was so cool. I've been, I'm in love with these little things, y'all. I have to... What did it say? I have to... Pay the bills. This is what they say. I got to pay the bills. Give me one second, guys. Academy and the Draper Masterclass, which we're about to go back on tour for 2024, starting in January. But if you want to know where exactly I'm going, you got to stay to the end, baby. You got to stay to the end. I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm going. Stay to the end. <laughs> Merlin say, energy, energy. I wouldn't bring it no other way. Merlin, I'm going to tell you one thing. Baby, I don't know where I got it from because since yesterday, we've been home, I don't know, maybe a, a day and a half. I don't know. But, baby, I don't know who I was out on the, that beach every day because your girl forehead is burnt all up. So, guys, don't y'all say nothing. Keep your comments to yourself. If you see my skin flaking off, if you know a remedy, be be real uh, genuine and be friendly and tell me in the uh, comments. Doc told me to put some aloe on it or some aloe. I need something because I'm walking around and my skin is just flaking off. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know how long this is going to work. I don't know how long this is going to go on, but... Tanya say nice. You like you like it, Tanya. You like it, baby. I'm trying to tell you, I like it. I like it. I like it. Pay the bills, Kim. You gotta pay the bills. I'm trying to tell you, them ads help pay the bills. So guys, before Alicia, hey Queen, I miss you. <laughs> before we get any further, guys, you guys told me who was in the building. You told I knew it. She said Alo. I'ma try it. I'ma try it with the Alo. All right, because I can't walk around like this. It's just falling off my face. I'm like, what was I doing? I don't know, but I didn't realize it was that hot, but it was. So, guys, tonight, like I said, if really all this week, I'm going to be talking about Barbie. I ain't in my Barbie garb tonight, but I'm going to be in my Barbie garb tomorrow. I'm going to be in Barbie garb on Thursday because I got some technique videos on Thursday. And on Friday, the tutorial is for Level 5 membership. So, guys, I want you to really think about, when you think about Barbie, I want you to tell me in the comments. What do y'all think about when you think about Barbie, like, what, I didn't see the movie, so I don't know. Don't get real technical with the movie. I don't know what it was about. I heard some stuff, but I didn't see it. But I want you guys to tell me in the comments what is some things you think about. Let me see if this working. I think it worked, y'all. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. Thank you, Lion. I swear to God, this is so cute. What comes to mind when you think about Barbie? I'm going to tell you, for me... Barbie is like a feminist movement, especially now. Like, people are not playing with the Barbie thing. I mean, they are like, it's almost like a cult. I'm like, okay, now, hold on. Hold on. But I like it. I really like it because it's about a lot of feminism from what I heard. And, and when I was a little girl, I wanted to be Barbie, right? I was like, she had all the little fashionable clothes. You, you could just take her hair off, pop it back on. There was so much you could do. She had the guy. She had Ken. She had the Corvette. She had the mansion. She... She had it all, right? So, guys, when you think about Barbie, 
I like the fact that they turned it into something really, 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 really fun. They turned it into something real stylish, although it, it always was, but that helped you realize how timeless it is. Like, baby, when Barbie came, I was like, it was a whirlwind. I was like, okay, okay. She said, girl power. I love it. Cotton, ca cotton candy, Merlin. <laughs> cotton candy. Next time, try. I hadn't. So what happened was when that, I, I didn't have on no sunscreen because we, we just went to Tulum and was it Tulum we went to? And they was real specific about the kind of sunscreen you needed because it would damage the, the, the coral, the reef. And I don't know what I did on that plane, but some kind of way I got there and a couple of my items was missing. So the turn up was real. I just, I was there with no sunscreen and I just didn't realize how hot it was. I really didn't, especially being on the boat, especially being on um been on the, the the beaches like that and when you're on the boat the, you can't add any more sunscreen because of the 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 reef so i messed up big time baby i don't know who i thought i was but come on with it tanya girl power yes girl power I, all things woman baby is my woman speaking tonight or what are y'all speaking tonight or what guys barbie is a strong symbol a symbol of sophistication. Barbie is a strong symbol of innovation. And guess what, guys? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They were not my thoughts before this little wave. It wasn't. I just thought Barbie was about feminine and, you know, blonde moments. That's really, that was my take on it from me being a kid. And I was more of a uh, gym and the misfits kind of, you know, that was, <laughs> Somebody, if y'all know what, who Jim and the Misfits is, put it in the comments. She touched her earring and she said, Synergy! I'm, that was me. I was a Jim and the, uh, Jim and the Misfits kind of kind of gal. Or a Thundercat, right? I really wasn't into Barbies too much, although I had them. So my thoughts was different in, compared to how it came in the wave now. Like, I'm trying to tell you, Barbie came in and totally just shut everything down in every genre and every aspect that you can possibly think of. I'm, where the heart come from? Oh, oh, I like that. What was that? <laughs> Tracy say, hold on, Tracy. This is for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I get the right one. The way it came here, it was like real strong, real whirlwind. And we're going to kind of get into some strategies that I want you guys to think about and how you can still jump on the wave because it ain't going nowhere. At the end of the day, when I was doing the research for like just really seeing like what people been doing in this draping game or in this um, events industry period over the past couple of years, it has really been... I ain't gonna lie, it's been like a, a bunch of the same theme, right? But baby, this time around, people had all kinds of stuff. I was like, how the heck she think of that? But baby, when y'all, when I bust out with this Bobby backdrop, baby, on Friday, I'm trying to tell you, I ain't seen nobody with it. I ain't seen nobody, and it took me a, it took me some some thought nuggets to really come up with this concept because I wanted something different that everybody wasn't doing. And y'all know I play with the fabrics. Y'all know I play with, I just play with the stuff. So I'm trying to tell you, this is definitely one for the books that you are going to want to see. So guys, if you have not already, definitely grab your notepad because I am going to give you some tips that you can walk away with right away and start thinking that you, you still got time, right? You still got time to jump on this bandwagon because I'm trying to tell you, if I was out there still providing services, the little Barbie marketing campaign that I'm ready to run through. I'm going to already know they be they will be calling me up. I already know it, but I don't provide the service. I am I'm pretty much doing this to help you guys with the strategy so that you can go and kill it because it's in high demand still. And I didn't realize that it was still in high demand until you guys shared your work with us in the group. So thank you guys for everybody that had those events. First y'all was telling us, I'm like, who who having an event this week? First of all, everybody, I got this, I got that. And then a couple days go by, I ain't seen no pictures. I'm like, uh-uh, 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 uh <laughs> Where them pictures at? And then y'all came and flood the, flood the gates with the pictures. And y'all y'all just, man, y'all is really killing the game. So give yourself some kudos. Let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, I don't want to do the wrong one. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> 
give you give yourself some uh, claps in the comments, guys. Y'all know I like engagement. That's keep me going. Y'all y'all know I come with the high energy. Y'all got to give it back, give it back, give it back. Let me see how many people we got. This is another little new one. Let me see. Oh, y'all y'all ain't here with me tonight. I don't see it on the thing, though. I'm still learning. Bear with me, guys. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So, guys, if you're ready to jump in, I want you to throw a one in the chat. Throw a one in the chat. Again, when I see the ones that let me know, y'all ready to get these tips. Y'all ready to get these tips. And I want you to, if you think of, don't be selfish, y'all. If you think it's anyone in the industry that can um, definitely benefit from this video, if you know anyone in the industry that is maybe looking to do some Barbie stuff but not necessarily sure how to get in and kill it at this, at this time, share this video, y'all. Share it with them, tag them in it, do something. Spread the love. I do not want to be. So many people keep coming and say, Precious, thank you for this video. Guys, do not keep me your best kept secret. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you that ain't what we do over here. Spread the love, share the love. All right, guys, spread the love, share the love. Because one of these tips that I'm going to share with you guys tonight will possibly be one that you can actually partner with the person you want to share the video with. So I'm trying to tell you, get in there, share the love, spread the love. All right? So let's jump in with strategy number one. Y'all ready? Okay, come on with it. Come on with it. <laughs> I, I like this, you know. I like this. I'm going to get better, though, but for right now, I'm learning. But I like it. I like it. All right, so this is my thing when I'm going into my tips. <laughs> strategy number one. Definitely, you got to get comfortable with it, right? You got to get comfortable with it, right? You want to unveil the Barbie magic. Have fun. Like we talked about, the elegance, the glamour, the style. Barbie is trending, and it's not... Like when the wave first came, uh, clearly everybody was on it. But guys, people still want it. People still want it, right? People are looking at other people's events that they probably had a few months ago. And they still inspired by that, right? But just imagine if you come in, you come in with your sense of style, you come in with your elegance, you come in with your unique value proposition, meaning what you have to offer, what everybody else didn't do. Who do you think they're going to be calling? Trying to tell you, now is the time, Kimberly, especially you, baby, especially you. Now is the time to be playing with them pinks. Get them all out, baby. Get them all out because Barbie is all shades of pink. I was like, okay, I like it. And I, <laughs> pink's not even my favorite color, but I like it. And I was like, this back, this backdrop I'm going to do, y'all. Mm -mm. Like I said, pink, you would think it is because they're my branded colors, but it's not. But this, this one I'm going to do, I'm trying to tell you the pink that's in that. Hot. And it was a pink that I didn't even have, guys. So that's that goes to show how much of a variety, different colors you can play with, different textures you can play with. They got so many different Barbies, guys. They got the Malibu Barbie. They got the Nurse Barbie. Get creative. That's my whole point, right? I want you to be bold with the design, right? Because everybody is, you know, everybody pretty much, not everybody, but a lot of people are mimicking the same stuff, right? And I get it, but I want you guys to go out there. <laughs> I want y'all to go out there, get real wicked with it, and just create something that they be like, oh my God, what is that? Baby, let you be trending for a while, right? If Barbie is trending, this is your best time to get in front of people you want to work with. And not, not to mention, this ain't the only time you can do it. Because we hit waves and we hit different inspirations of design often. So as soon as another trend come, if you master this and it actually works and it attract the people you want to work with, all you got to do is rinse and repeat, babe. Rinse and repeat. Can somebody tell me rinse and repeat in the comments? <laughs> Can say, oh, you holding out on the pink colors, huh? I am not holding out on you, girl. I am not holding out on you, boo. Thank you, Deborah. Now, you want to know what, Deborah? That was one thing I forgot. Well, I didn't really forget. I ain't learned that part yet. So, Lion, if you're still here, we got some more work to do. <laughs> I didn't learn how to put my banners up like I put them up at um, StreamYard because I didn't have a lot of time. But I learned a lot in a little bit of time I had, I'm trying to tell you. Rinse and repeat. Thank you, Deborah. So, guys, that is the one thing you want to do. Unveil the Barbie magic. Don't sit here and be so inspired by other people's stuff. You do exactly what they do. Or you let the people say, this is exactly what I want. Ask for create. It's, ask do you have a freedom of creativity, right? This is what's going to get the stuff like, wow. It was somebody the day called, yeah, you guys know I deal with prints a lot. Like I incorporate prints into my draping. 
And even though I incorporate it, I don't, we don't carry that in our shop because it's just so many different prints. You is so many th that you could choose from. And I ain't even going down that rabbit hole, but that is one of the things that for me stood out. A lot of people, they, they noticed that right away. They noticed that I deal with a lot of flamboyant colors, right? That is one of the things that is recognizable when you see a Posh Academy's backdrop. So let that be the same thing. Consider your style, uh, whatever your style is, incorporate it into anything that you are actually working on. Did y'all pick that up? Did y'all pick that up? <laughs> Wait a minute, why this? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's lying. You, say, you, you got it. I'm trying to tell you, Lion, we're going to take this thing to the next level. This is fun. Thank you, Tonya. Rinse and repeat. So guys, strategy number two, give me a two in the comments and I got this for y'all. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> guys, strategy number two, you gotta jump on it. I'm a little late, cause y'all know I was, I was a little busy. But you gotta have that social media sizzle. Guys, social media, and I know we in the same bucket. A lot of us don't really like it. That's not our primary form of marketing. It's not mine. I will pick email marketing any day over social media. Um, even though social media, you 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 know, you reach a wider vast of people. However, my strategy works for me. But something some something as simple as this that's trending, you have to jump on the bandwagon, right? So even me, being so I don't provide the service for draping. However, I teach people, right? I'm teaching you guys how to attract a higher clientele. I'm teaching you guys how to stand out from what everybody is doing. So why would I not jump on a social media sizzle? Baby, I'm out there like swimwear. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you have to be able to understand the drill. At the end of the day, you can't be scared. You, you whip out the cameras, right? Show off your Barbie and uh, inspired backdrops. You're draping, you're behind the scenes. You're going through the process. Guys, it, it is a working process because it, I'm going to vlog for the whole process of the Barbie marketing thing, right? I be forgetting sometimes. I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot. I supposed to un unbox this, this new, I be forgetting. So you kind of want to understand the drill and get into a, a rhythm, right? Get into a rhythm and understand what you're trying to do. If you keep at the forefront of your mind, you're trying to work with the people that's going to pay the, the, for this kind of stuff, then you better get out there. I'm trying to tell you, you better get out there. You can also drop some expert tips, right? Show the things that makes you different from what everyone else is doing. Who don't love to be different, right? Everybody have a little bit of vanity in them. I don't care who they is. I don't care who they are. Everybody had that, right? Everybody want to be different. Everybody want to stand out. Everybody want to have something that everybody else don't have. It's your job to give it to them. Hello, did I say, can I, can I, wait a minute, what I got, what I got? I don't know what I got, but I'm going to put something on here. Ain't the right one, but it's going to work for right now. It's your job to give it to them, right? They're looking for you. And if you are too scared to show up, they gonna go and find somebody else. I'm trying to tell you. Your social media platforms, guys, it's your golden ticket to grabbing the kind of the kind of attention worldwide. The kind of people that reach out to me or the the, the where they're located. That would have never really happened if I stuck to my same routine of, let's just say, email strat email marketing, right? Or if I stuck to guerrilla marketing, right? Meaning I'm out in the streets and I'm wearing my shirt and I'm, you know, that I would have never reached people in the UK or reach people in South America, like, like I would have never been able to do that. And social media is what allowed me to do that. So guys, make your Instagram pages, your Facebook pages, your TikToks, whatever it is. Not only do you want to show what you're doing, you want that, you want your pages, your platforms to be the go-to spot for the inspiration. Like I said, I do not provide services. However, when I finish with this Barbie campaign, it's going to inspire people to do something. They're going to want to do something that I got. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And it ain't going to be build the backdrop because that's not what I do. But they're going to either want to learn how to do such thing, right? They're going to want to follow me to learn more tips. It's something they're going to be propelled to do because that is how I am designing the marketing campaign. You got to do the same thing, okay? She said true. <laughs> but why it seemed like I was talking to you earlier? The, from the Caribbean. Yeah, it's like, it's so many. I'm trying to tell you, it's, I was like, I would have never been able to, um, you know, like have contact with those guys if it wasn't for the social media platforms that I'm on. So you guys got to do the same thing. I'm trying to tell you, you got to do the same thing. Somebody put in the comments, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. I'm trying to tell you. The third thing, guys, are you ready for number three? 
like that. I like that. Now I just got to get my banners to go with it, but it's coming. It's coming. Number three, guys, this one is fun. This is so fun. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you, queen. This is so, this one is fun, guys. And so a lot of people, I ain't gonna lie. Do, me building out this, this little Barbie campaign, I didn't realize it was going to cost me the amount of money it cost me because I'm like, but being a content creator, you got to invest in your craft, right? I told you I was taking my, my, my platforms to the next level. That's exactly what I mean. So that is the like, same thing. But if for those of you, that's, let's just say you're just getting in, you don't have a lot of inventory. Strategy number three, guys, is you want to collaborate with Barbie brands. I am trying to tell you. Those of you that's in the membership for tomorrow, for tomorrow's broadcast, you're going to get a clear gem, right? I'm giving you a whole Barbie brand that I collaborated with. And I'm, it's, it's like a win-win. Why is it a win-win? Because not only are you able to make the magic happen, right? You're able to create the thing that your business needs to get visibly seen by the people you want to work with, but you also can double up your cash flow. Now, you're like, Precious, what do you mean? What do you mean double up your cash flow? What, do you, what you talking about, girl? Imagine teaming up with some Barbie-themed brands. Maybe they have some products, whatever it is, right? And you get the merch or you get the stuff or whatever it is you need to create the content to attract the people you want to work with, and you get paid. I'm trying, if that ain't a win-win, somebody put win-win. Somebody put win-win down in there. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> that is a win-win, guys. I'm trying to tell you. This whole collaboration thing, even if it's not another person, like the platforms, the, the, the brands, the endorsements, it's, a, it's real. It's real out here. I'm trying to tell you. And it's not as hard as you think. You got to start thinking of ways like I just said, the things that I had to invest in, right? But some of it, I didn't. I did a collaboration. So it's like, okay, so I really can't complain. But at the end of the day, that should be your mindset. Not like I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon because you know what? I can't afford that fabric. Not right now. Baby, you better go find somebody that got it. I'm trying to tell you. You better go find somebody that got it. You're going to create the content so you can attract who you want to work with. And at the same time, either you're going to get paid or you're going to get free product. You're going to get free inventory. You have to start building your business for success by any means necessary. Did I, did I just say... Any means necessary? Wait a minute, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's the wrong one too, but I like it. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. Yes, by any, Deborah said again. So win-win. You're winning, right? And you're able to still stay in the forefront, in the top of people's mind, when they think about what's trending, whatever the case may be, you want to be the first person they come, they, they, they think about. I don't care what's trending in the market. When it comes to this draping game, even if I don't provide the service, I want people like, oh, I can't wait to, sh I can't wait to she be, uh, do her mock-up. I can't wait to she come out with that tutorial, right? Because they need the inspiration. And they, they know that I'm going to come out with something wicked. So it's like, oh, I, I can't wait. To, let me see what she got. So as I'm trying to tell you, there's other ways. There's more than one way to skin a cat, baby. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So find different uh, opportunities for sponsorships, right? Step three, I'm definitely going deeper into this tomorrow for whoever's in the membership because it's not as it's not as hard as you guys think. We have a whole we have a whole user generated content program here. We have I got everything y'all need. I got product, I got fabric, I got kits, I got tutorials, I got I got merch. <laughs> so I'm, it's really not that hard. You just gotta get mentally in a space where you like oh yeah and start realizing what you can what you can leverage right if you don't have the money what do you have that you can leverage is i'm just i just want to say it's easier than, than y'all think all right <laughs> by any means necessary hey cindy like where you been at girl cabbage patch and gym <laughs> oh yes 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 cabbage patch i forgot about the cabbage patch i had the cabbage patch dolls and the cabbage patch cards yes i did now some of them i used to take from my friends but <laughs> that's another story that's another story guys strategy number four strategy number four and then your girl is out the door but i got some important information before i go so don't go nowhere strategy number four <laughs> collaboration with colleagues now this is a you know this is another one this is another one, not necessarily going to brands, right? Some of you guys get a little intimidated by going to a brand because you may think that you, you don't have a big enough following. You may think your work, they're not going to respect your craft, right? So I get it because I'm trying to think, was I there? No, 
Because I banged on the doors. They just told me no in the beginning. <laughs> they just told me no in the beginning. But guess what? They banging on mine now. So <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Collaboration, guys, with your colleagues is still a really big thing. It should be people in your industry. I don't want you guys to think about, well, I'm I'm a draping stylist and they're a draping stylist. We, no, they're going to take... Wait, mm, 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 mm. you still can partner with people in your industry that's not a direct competition. Barbie, guys, Barbie has collaborated with everybody you can think about. I mean, like, that, guys, I'm trying to tell you, when I first, when the Barbie first hit the market or started trending, it was some things I was looking for because I had some ideas in my mind, right? I was like, oh, God, I can do this, I can do that. But I didn't get it right away. Silly me to think that I, <laughs> I didn't get it right away. So when it when the when the wave hit, do you know Barbie brand was so strong they went and took all they everything was copywritten. Like wasn't no Barbie stuff on nobody's site legally. I was like, what happened to the I just it just was in my cart. What happened? <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> so they have collaborated with every designer, every influencer, every company, every brand. Whatever it was to stay relevant, they had the, a simple um, billboard. Well, nothing on that, but a, a, it was a pink billboard and I think a B or something like that. The brand was so freaking strong that was recognizable from way over yonder somewhere. I'm trying to tell you. So you still can collaborate with your colleagues, right? It could be partnering with, if you are draping stylist, you can partner with an event planner, right? You guys can create a styled shoot. Now, the styled shoot could be both of you guys coming and merging together and sharing the credit, sh sharing the, um, hold on, <laughs> sharing the credibility uh, so you guys can both benefit from the style shoot. Not only that, you still can partner with, if you were, let's just say you were treat maker, you can partner with people that do decor, right? Because you a treat maker. You ain't got no decor like that for real. If you strictly are solely focused on treats. That don't mean you still can't do a hell of a mock-up. You can't do a heck of a partnership or collaboration. I'm trying to tell you. Now, y'all know I am not a part of the collaboration over competition thing. That ain't me. Uh, that ain't me. I mean, I love collaborating. But baby, I like competition because it let me know I got something that what people want, right? If I'm in the pool all by myself, what I'm doing? Don't nobody want that? Don't nobody want that? Man, I don't like the red pond. Like, I don't like the bloody pond. I mean, there's a whole lot of people. But I like the blue ocean, right? I want to stay over here to where I got some competition that's going to keep me on my toes. But at the end of the day, do you not think I would go and collaborate with someone that's doing exactly what I'm doing, right? I, I could be in direct competition because it wouldn't bother me. Because even though I am draping, I don't provide it as a service. I am an instructor. So I could easily partner with another draping stylist, right? But guys, you guys should be partnering with other people in the industry that don't have what you have. You're going to be a benefit to them and they're going to be a benefit to you. Not to mention when you build partnerships like that, if they go good, because all of them don't, let's just keep it, let's just call the spade a spade. All of them don't. But if they go well, that is a long-term relationship. That is a long-term relationship. You could depend on them, and they could depend on you. Baby, I like these hearts. Where are they coming from? Hold on. Hold on. Did I forget on them? That's right. Only eight likes. Come on, y'all. Click that X. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got something for y'all. Wait a minute. Hold up. I forgot I had, my, I had my little thing up here. This one. I just learned this one too, y'all. Y'all got to subscribe to the channel, help the channel, because, the, you know, these gems, I mean, that's my time. I love coming in here and, and giving out and pouring and all that. Y'all can easily tell me thank you by just liking the video or sharing the video or subscribing to the channel to help the channel perform much better. Thank you. I appreciate it. That ain't a lot. That ain't a lot. That ain't a lot. I have the Barbie font on my computer. Now, you want to know what? I, I don't know what I needed that font for. Let me take that down. I could not find it. I think I just didn't do it enough research but i was looking for that um font to work on this design until i stumbled upon something else but guys like everybody that's doing that's like a no-brainer everybody that's doing the the box um you know the stand-up box things i'm like they turn these people's names and writing it with the barbie font i'm like i didn't like pink but i just wanted one so i could take a picture in it <laughs> Trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. But guys, that is like people you should be 
considering partnering with, right? Look for the treat makers. Look for the prop makers. This is really going to help enhance your backdrop. If you are only focused on draping, don't be afraid to partner with somebody that do balloons. That's just that's just going to make it a powwow. Like, wow, right? They get to show off their balloons. You get to show off your draping. And collectively, it looks freaking amazing, right? I'm trying that this is this is where you, one of your biggest focus should be, right? Influences in the industry is one of the easiest ways to showcase and promote your work. If they are an influencer in this industry, they can get your work in front of a lot of people a lot quicker than you, right? Meaning people trust these. They they're influencers. People trust their their uh referrals, people trust who who they support, right? So that's one of the strongest ways to get good. That's one of the strongest ways to get good clientele because they're going to go just off the strength of somebody sent you. I know a couple people, they'll go and do, they, they, they haven't even done no research, but I know a couple people, once I'm connected to someone or I'm with someone or I'm working with someone, they go right and connect with them. Just, just, off, just off the strength. Oh, precious with them? Oh, okay. Oh, I trust them. Well, I'm like, hold, pause. <laughs> That's why you got to be selective. You as an influencer have to be selective in who you partner with because it can damage your brand or it can polish your brand at the end of the day. So even those of, those of you guys that have your channels and you're up and coming influencers, even if you're a micro influencer, a nano influencer, a small influencer, whatever it is, at the end of the day, the goal is to grow. So you definitely want to make sure that you are connecting yourself, right? Yourself, your circle, your circle of influence with people that's going to ultimately help you get to where you're trying to go. Don't sit there if you're sitting around and all y'all at the same level. Like, what y'all talking about? I don't want, what y'all talking about? <laughs> if I can't learn nothing from this table, I'm getting up. I'm getting up and I'm going to the next one. <laughs> Not only am I going to the next one, but guess what? I got my whole briefcase because I got gems in my bag that I'm able to contribute. So guys, collaborate, right? Collaborate or events, share each other's content. Like, I, I, that was really not something I was big on. Only reason, I'm being honest, I'm, I'm really not a big uh, social media person. I get on there, I do what I need to do. I work on a little strategy. I nurture you guys. I, I, I give y'all kudos, like group work, like definitely keep you guys motivated. And I'm off because it takes too much of my time. I ain't got time for that. And I'm so selective and protecting my brand. I can't go and be promoting somebody and they got some foolishness on another page. I ain't big do it. But I have, I can honestly say this year, I have met some reputable women, right? And not necessarily even in our industry, just business owners. And I'm like, I like what they're doing. I appreciate and I, I respect what they're doing. So I was like, you want to know what? That's how me jump on a bandwagon and start supporting my sisters. That's not something I really ever did. Because I looked at my social media. I don't care if I had 18 of them. All of them had a job, right? <laughs> I had to go and get a whole TikTok because I, had, I was like, look, I need to have some fun somewhere. And I ended up making that TikTok to have fun. But main thing is you have to respect your brand because people are watching. So definitely get out there, collaborate people, collaborate with people in the industry, collaborate with brands, guys. It will really help you grow and get further faster. Talk about a win-win. That is definitely a win-win. Wait a minute. Oh, you purchased it on Ant on Etsy. Also have a cricket machine. Yeah, yeah, mine got the dust on it. Mine got the dust on it. Thank you, Kimberly. You in Riverside, California. You can rent my draping if you need an extra one. <laughs> oh, you in California, Marilyn? Wait a minute. I got my I might got chit chat with you. I might got chit chat with you. I'm trying to tell you. But guys, at the end of the day. I want you guys to know, one, that marketing strategies are more than just get in the sandbox and play around. It really is a proven formula for capturing the attention and winning the people hearts that you want to work with. That is what it's all about. If you ain't out there really trying to capture and play on people's heartstrings and let them really understand that they need you for the thing that they are struggling with or the thing that they desire, you playing. You, you playing. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. If you start adding what's trending and the things that's like at top of mind, if you start adding it into your marketing, you're not just promoting your draping. You're not just promoting your treat table. You're not just promoting the last wedding you're, you did, right? I want you guys to start understanding you are creating experiences. 
put that word into your marketing somewhere, right? Don't talk about that tree table because nobody really care. They, I, I tell y'all this all the time. They don't really care about the thing. What they care about is how the thing make them feel. So if you learn to focus on that and turn that into your verbiage, you'll have such a strong, a strong marketing game, right? Not even to go off of, but it just popped in my head. Y'all know stuff popped in my head all the time, so my bad. Oh, wrong one. Hey, I got mine better later. But not this week, but next week is our consultation, um, our consultation topic. So th that is like one of the biggest things is really learning what to say on a consultation to seal the deal like holy feel. I'm trying to tell you. So if you're really ready to turn your dreams into reality, guys, if you are excited to put your craft to the test, if you want to create unforgettable event experiences, and guess what? You want to be your own boss because a lot of you guys work. But y'all tired of that. Y'all want to be your own boss and craft a six-figure business. And guess what? Your first, your very next step need to be the draping membership. I'm trying to tell you. It's right here on YouTube. It's the easiest, it's the easiest next step, right? And that's a segue for you to get to where you need to be, which is ultimately possibly a class. Or guess what? Maybe not a class, but that is the very next step step, very next thing that you guys need to do. If you guys join today, you'll be able to join me tomorrow for What to Do Wednesday, where I'm going to be deep, diving deep into not only talking about this whole Barbie movement, right, but how to really infuse it into your brand, how to actually incorporate it into the event draping game so you can actually not only land the people you want to work with, but develop a strategy that you can do over and over and over again. The four things that I share with you guys today, guys, I am going to go deeper and not only just giving tips, but I'm be giving them the secrets into how to put it into action. So I want to thank you guys. I want to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in today. If you found these insights valuable at all, I want you to just hit that like button or the subscribe button. I like it, I like it, I like it. Or the subscribe button, right? And share this with y'all fellow event drapers, guys. There's so many people in this industry that still brand new, still don't know where to start. Oh, that brought me to uh what that brought me to one of my new members, right? I had some new guys that joined the group today, my private Facebook group. And and I invited them to the live. They may catch the replay. I'm not sure. But this one question was for Vicky Smith. Vicky Smith is new to our private Facebook group. And she was looking to it is funny because I have a video coming out on this. She was looking to achieve how to um, create the arch using the curved bar. I said, how ironic is that that I'm actually working on that exact video? So, Vicki Smith, if you are watching or if you catch this on the replay, guess what? I am going to dedicate that video to you because we were already actually in the making of doing that. But the way you crafted your question helped me kind of do it differently so that you can actually find the content on YouTube. I also have a new member by the name of Lacey Rains. I hope I'm saying that right. Lacey J. Rains. And she wants to know how to get the drapes to lay nicely. I love when y'all be asking these questions in the group. Y'all wanna know why? Because this is the stuff that you guys say. And this is the stuff that I make searchable so that y'all can find the content and get the help you need so you ain't got to struggle no more. So Lacey, baby, guess what? If you join the membership, it's already so many tutorials that tell you not only how to lay them nicely, show you how to pleat them, show you how to tuck them, show you how to polish them, show you all the things. So again, below any of my videos, all you got to do is hit the join button. I'm going to see if there's one more button work. All you got to do is hit the join button and did it work? put it in the comments y'all I just put it in the comments so my link tree goes to everything you guys hear me talking about and to give you a quick uh recap um the the YouTube membership it's on that link tree right I'm going live tomorrow to give the actual secrets and how to win at this trending what what is happening right now but it's the same exact thing you can do when the next wave come and the next wave come and the next wave come because they come right not only that guys um the, the next one, I'm going to say for last. I'm going to say for last. I got to say that one for last. I got to say that for last. Wait a minute. I need to know how to hide the raw edges of the drapes I sold. So, Tracy, I think you're in the membership. I should have a video on that. I should have a video on that. Tanya, you are more than welcome, sweetheart. More than welcome. Well, you got to tell me his name. You know, I don't like I don't like messing people's names up. <laughs> but, well, Roo Roo, you are definitely more than welcome. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Okay, when that says, wait a minute, when that when that precious, when can I sign up or find out more about the October coaching? That's my birthday present to me. I'm ready. When that it should no, I think I dis disabled that because I'm I this actually ends my last coaching segment normally in quarter four. I don't do any, but with this last tour. Send me a message and I could get you, um, it's just all you got to do is schedule a, a call. Let me find out what it is you're trying to do. And if it's something that we can develop and work on during quarter four, totally fine. But as of January, you guys know, I do not do any coaching when I'm on tour and we're going to be touring quite a bit. That's all I'm going to say. Thank y'all for the likes. I love it. Oh, y'all tear it down tonight. I love it. I missed y'all. Cindy, I know I said where you been at. Thank you for the video attaching to the the flowers to the pool nose. Oh, so that, guys, Brent, Deborah, that was a, actually an old one. I just still posted because I thought somebody would find it helpful. But the new flower uh, videos we got coming out is like the newer techniques. So I think it's a good contrast to see how I used to do things back then, which people still find it helpful. But see how I do things now. Because I'm still learning progress too, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, don't sit up here and think. Uh, what was the other lady told me? I taught, I, it was so cute. She was so cute. She was an older mature lady. And she was like, no, y'all better get in this class because you could definitely, whoever told you an old dog can't learn new tricks was lying. I said, me too, baby. I'm still learning too. So as long as you guys see me learning, you'll never run out of things to learn. I'm trying to tell you. I put the link tree comment. I mean, I put the link tree comment in. That has any link to what you are looking for. I do want to tell you guys that we have the tour for quarter one guys you're gonna get all of the details details though via email y'all know how i am or in the private facebook group but i do want to run these locations down to y'all let me run them down to y'all let me run them down to y'all because y'all help y'all help me with this one. at first i was like there's no way i'm gonna hit all them cities but maybe we narrowed it down so y'all ready let's see who made the cut Let's see who made the cut. Okay, so she said, I, I saw that too. It was pretty cool. It was pretty good. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> Merlin said, I should have pulled out my pink champagne for this broadcast. <laughs> uh oh, hey, Latoya, where you been at, lady? I, I miss y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all gets me hyped up. Okay, so quarter one. Dude. This is how I be right. This is how I, I get my stuff nailed down. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What do y'all think the first one was? Because y'all, the y'all, I haven't even been there, I don't think. I think every time we put this location on the calendar, for whatever reason, we don't make it there. Um, if, Whether it's a low turnout or whatever the case may be. So this time, y'all went really hard for this city. What city do y'all think I'm talking about? Tracy, stop playing. <laughs> Now, now, Tracy, you know I'm coming to Michigan because I definitely, th that town goes hard for me. Definitely um, Detroit, Chicago, they they go hard. But, baby, it's, it's too, see what I'm saying? See, see what I'm saying? It's too cold. It's too cold. I ain't going to be able to do that in January. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do it. Teresa, baby, we definitely cover the, we definitely cover the Charlotte. We definitely cover the Charlotte. Um, I do not see draping to your level in the U.K., I am new to draping, and one of my goals is to be at the forefront of draping in the UK with your training and guidance. Come on, Elizabeth. So, Elizabeth, I've been seeing your, your comments, baby. I really have, and I've been commenting right back to you. So, those kind of comments, guys, are inspiring to me. I know y'all probably think uh, somebody else is... I ain't lying. Like, I do have help because I got a lot of platforms. But I'm trying to tell you guys, one of my babies, I told y'all my home home, I got a condos all over the place. I got a condo on TikTok. I got a condo on Instagram. You know, but my home, my home is Facebook. But then my vacation home is YouTube. So, guys, that's, I be, that be me. I be talking to y'all. We be talking. So, Elizabeth, I've seen a lot of your comments over the past couple of days. Definitely made sure that I got in and was responding to them. So if you need any assistance, if you have any difficulty, because I know you did say you were in the UK, just reach out to me. Let, let me know. Um, and I can definitely be able to get get, get you help. Uh, Keisha, dang, what did I miss? I had to pick up a bounty house. Keisha, you want to know what? I ain't even mad at you, boo, because you make it every week. But I was like saying to myself, like, Kim, where you go? But I do know... <laughs> When we talked, when I saw, I said, I told you last week, I said, them bouncy houses are keeping you busy. So I am not complaining, baby, because you're out there making your coin. That's all I know. That's all I know. 
Tanya say Vegas. So Tanya, you know, we've been trying to come to Vegas for quite some time. We have been trying to come to Vegas for quite some time. And this year, I think, not this year, but next year, I think it's definitely happening, but not in quarter one. Only thing is not in quarter one. I want to get your kit. All right, so here we go, guys. Here we go. Number one, hands down, that just lit the lit the, the votes up was Florida. I don't know. I don't know. Florida is on my tour every year, several times a year. I, I can't even remember if we made it to Florida. I can't. It always got canceled, right? But the way, maybe they went hard this time because y'all know I took off the entire year. And they was even in the comments <laughs> piggybacking on, we got to get it here. All right, come on, y'all. We got to get it here. See, that's the kind of energy I love because y'all know what kind of energy I have in class. So Florida, baby, Florida, other than Atlanta, <clears throat> is our first stop. Florida is our first stop. Now, the only thing, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, the only thing is we have to decide um, if it's going to be Jacksonville or uh, Tampa. Tampa was the other one that went hard. It was uh, Jacksonville or Tampa. So you guys will be seeing this on the website and you will get the up updates of the actual whole tour. But these are our tentative states. I'm just going to tell y'all because y'all keep saying precious. I need to know so I can get my coins ready. These are the states, okay? Atlanta, Jacksonville, possibly, or Tampa, one of them. New Orleans, NOLA in the house. Y'all know we go, we, we, we cut up in NOLA. So we definitely got to go back to NOLA. NOLA had a big, big vote too. A lot of votes. Houston, Dallas, Jackson, and Birmingham. I didn't do that. Wait a minute. I meant to do this one. So, guys, that right now is the tentative states. Not to mention, guys, all of these classes. Listen up. All I took, you took vacation in Florida. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Also, I did make it in Florida. I don't remember. I don't remember. I've been on tour, guys, for four years now. I don't remember. Yeah, so Tracy, Dallas. Wait a minute, but that's not, you didn't say Dallas, Tracy. You said Michigan or something. So, yeah, that Dallas is, uh, that was a hype too, but Dallas had had such a good response. I was like, all right, we got to go to Dallas. We got to do it. I wish I was in the U.S. to join your in-person training. I love your energy. It is infectious. Don't worry about it, Elizabeth girl. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to tell you, God makes ways. God makes ways. I'm trying to tell you. So all you got to do is put it on the, in the universe. And guess what? I'm going to put it in the universe too because he, he may bring me to you or he may bring you to me. I don't know. But put it in the universe. But this is what I'm going to tell you guys. All of these classes. All of them, both of them, all of them. They are two-day classes, right? So the Draper Master classes for quarter one is not one day. It's entirely too much that needs to be covered for it to be happening one day, right? So guys, you will definitely be looking out, what's the day? It should be, because I have all the content. Um, Melody just got to get it on the website for me. Everything should be able to be updated so you have all your questions answered about the Draper Master Classes. All of them are two days, every last one of them, back to back, right? Every state. Um, that's all I can tell you for right now. That's it. <laughs> that's all I can tell you for right now. But y'all know I will definitely be giving you guys updates. Again, if you have not um, joined the... YouTube membership, the comment, I just put the comments in, I've just put the link in the comments, definitely join so you can join me tomorrow. I will be live sharing my secrets on exactly how to do what I gave y'all tips on tonight. And then on Thursday, for this backdrop, the, for the Bobby backdrop, um, one of the biggest elements of the backdrop that is going to be revealed, that video is going to be revealed on Thursday and then the full tutorial for the backdrop is revealed on Thursday. Friday. So again, guys, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll try to tell you so you can be here every Tuesday. Hit the notification bell so you know each and every time that I go live. I'm trying to tell you. I love that y'all watch my videos, right? I love that y'all comment on the videos, right? But ain't nothing like being being ain't nothing like being here. You know, I could I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some stickers when I can kind of get y'all love. And I ain't got them yet, but I am. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try to tell you. I am putting it out there. We will definitely be. Okay, guys, I love you, love you, love you. As always, as always, I want you guys to drape big, dream on and drape big. Again, I'm Precious Stevens of the Posh Academy. They call me the Draping Queen. Why? 
because I believe designers deserve more money. And what I do, I help them get it. See y'all next week. Thank <music> you.